Hello, I am Chia Zalalinda Mgumba. I'm going to present to you a project entitled Determinants of Biological Community Assembly in Ephemeral Rock Pools of Matopos National Park in Zimbabwe. So what are these rock pools really and why are we concerned about them? So basically rock pools are depressions that you find in rock outcrops that temporarily or permanently hold water. In particular we're concerned about the ones that you find on great granite rock outcrops. And the importance that these have is that they are good model systems for ecological research. They are small and therefore they can be studied as a whole and also because of their ephemerality you can study the effects of having a limited resource which in this case is water. So this can be applied in uh, climate change studies and um, just resource studies. So despite the fact that they are really important they've often been overlooked and only now people are starting to realize this importance and trying to understand them better and that's exactly what we're trying to do so the big idea for me what i'm trying to understand is what pool duration or hydro period and time what they these two factors do to the physical chemical characteristics which in this case i chose ph total dissolved solids salinity and conductivity as well as biological communities which in this case is just zooplankton and macro invertebrates so i want to see is anything changing as time goes on and does pore generation really may make a difference so my study area is a rock outcrop which is found at World's View or where Cecil John Rhodes grave is located in the Matopos National Park which is part of a World Heritage Site, the Matopo Hills. And um, if you look at the top right corner you find a representation, just an example of the kinds of pools that you are likely to find here. In this case I assembled the long term pools that you find within this area. And this area is... Um, has an average height of about 1,500 meters. So this is just a representation of how these pools are scattered around in the study area. So you find that some of them are really close together and these are connected by means of water channels. And then there are some which are isolated, for example, P07, P10 and P13, which are isolated pools. So this is just an idea of what you are likely to find the pools as in relation to each other on the study site. So how exactly did I collect my data? I chose a total of 15 pools from the rock outcrop from about a total of 25. And from these, I found four short term pools, three medium term and eight long term pools. And I used total or maximum depth to, to, to categorize them into these pool durations. So in each pool, I would measure the pool depth, surface area, connectivity, and distance to vegetation, and collect a water sample in which I would test for salinity, conductivity, total dissolved so solids, and pH, as well as um, species richness and the abundance of each species. So this is just a representation of the data collection. So for the surface area, I used the grid square to measure the surface area. And for collecting the water sample, I would first homogenize the water sample by just stirring the water within the pool. Then collect my water sample into these 500 ml polythene bottles, which were later um, fixed in 40% alcohol. And then just not any kind of species that I was finding at each pool. So these are the results that I found. This is the list of the species that I found. And uh, basically they were dominated by insects and these were mostly flies, um, dragonflies, hymenopterans, beetles and columbola and a few of branchiopods, ostracods and arachnids and lichies and rotifers. And the way that these were assembling with each other was that the 
predatory species were assembling with their prey species and there was a negative correlation between these two which means as one increased the other decreased and also you find that those um, species that share a similar life cycle were also positively correlated and competitors were negatively correlated meaning as one um, increased the other decreased so statistically poor duration did not really have an effect on the species richness and species diversity in these pools <clears throat> However, just looking at the mean species richness and the mean species diversity, long-term pools had the highest species as well as the species diversity. And um, this can be attributed to the fact that they are much bigger and can therefore house more species. As far as time went, um, it should be noted that time one had the most number of collected samples and the number of collected samples reduced as time went on and um, this can be seen as a pattern in the mean species richness and mean species diversity as time went on because you can see that time one which had the most species also had the most number of samples and time one is also having the most species richness because this is when the species were establishing their populations so as time went on some of them matured into adult phases and dispersed from the pools remember we established that a lot of them were dispersing active dispersers and also a lot of them were predatory species therefore um the species richness and species diversity reduced with time because we expect that some of them would have been preyed on and their populations would have been eliminated from the rock pools and then physical chemical parameters were not really affected by either pool duration or time in the exception of ph however it should be noted that ph on its own it's um it's 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 very vi variable it's highly variable it's just affected by many factors really in general and it can change even within the space of a day a lot would have changed within the ph as an independent value so that should be noted pool duration and species assemblages this is how they were associated long term pools were associated with the majority of the species compared to medium term and short term pools and um, i'm going to i'm attributing this to the fact that long term pools are larger and therefore can house more species and also they have higher habitat heterogeneity and therefore can house more species and um, they can house the ones that can um, complete their life cycles in a short period of time in a reasonably medium period of time as well as a long period of time so this is why they are associated with the most um, of the species that were found within these rock pools. Time one was also associated with more species than all the rest of the other times. As I mentioned earlier, I am attributing this to the fact that they were establishing their, 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 their communities and these were diminishing over time, either due to predation um, or that they were out competed by their competitors or they just completed their life cycles and left the pools so this is just a summary of what we found we, um, the matopo rock pools are generally smaller compared to other rock pools and pool duration and time did not really affect anything other than ph and um, these were dominated by active dispersing insects and an interesting thing is that Columbola, Hymenoptera and Orthoptera are not really commonly found in other rock pools, but they were found in Matopo rock pools. So that's an interesting note to find. So I'm recommending that we take a look at the fact that we find some economically important species such as mosquitoes, 
uh, family culicity and some ecologically important environmental indicators such as dragonflies that you find in order odonata and um, water mites that you find in um, water hydrachnidia and um, if really we increase the scope of the study to increase to to include maybe more rock pools or to stretch this over various uh, rainy seasons we would find um, more information more conclusive information about rock pools and the fact that long-term pools maintain water for quite a long time is um, an interesting fact because these could actually act as potential water sources during dry periods thank you very much for your attention